What's good, YouTube? It's Justice. I used to be paying. Today, I'm back with another video. Make sure you leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'm trying to pay off that college tuition. But I promised the Nikki fans, I promised the Barbs that the next two times I talked about her would for sure be positive. So this is one of those two times. And in this video, I titled it, Say Her Name or Forever Hold Your Peace for a very good reason. I'm tired of people sneak dissing Nicki Minaj. Go all in or be quiet. And a lot of the beefs, skirmishes, whatever you want to call it with Nicki Minaj, there's not a lot of name dropping going on. There's not a lot of directness going on, you know, with her skirmishes with like Lotto, Meg Thee Stallion, Coyle Ray, and whoever else. There's not a lot of direct messages from Nicki Minaj or to Nicki Minaj on either side. And I'm here to say, drop the little petty sneak disses, the little, you know, Lotto when she does her little, uh, uh, she must not took her meds, whatever. Drop all that stuff and go all in. Like, I'm, I'm really getting sick and tired of it, bruh. Because the sneak diss battle, the going back and forth, the subtle bars, the little shots here, the little shots there, is not a battle that you're going to win with Nicki Minaj. Let's just be real. In terms of creativity, especially with punchlines, with specifically punchlines and little sneak disses, Nicki's going to eat you up, to use TikTok language and whatever. She's gonna eat all, She's gonna eat you up. Like, it's just the truth. I'm not even trying to get on here and glaze Nicki Minaj, but that's her specialty. Punchlines, one-liner, that's her thing. So to try and do that back and forth with her, it's not really gonna end well most of the time. And if not end well, it's just not gonna lead to anything. It's not gonna progress you in your career. It's not gonna add up to anything. It's just gonna be, oh, this is a sneak diss to Nikki. Oh, Nikki sneak diss and reply, replied back. Like, there's gonna be nothing of substance there. And after a certain point, it's gonna look like just clout chasing. Because if you're beefing with Nicki Minaj and your name isn't Cardi B, you're beefing up. I'm sorry, that's just, just the truth. And even Cardi B to a certain extent, but not to the same level as, as the other girls I just mentioned. If you're beefing with Nicki Minaj, you're beefing up. And when you continue to sneak diss somebody and kind of throw shots at them, but not go all the way in, People can say you're cloud chasing. You might not be, but that narrative can be built when that's just consistently what's going on is you're just sneak dissing, sneak dissing, sneak dissing. It feels like you're trying to get your name in the convo without fully going in and having all the smoke for that person because if it was really that deep, you would make it that deep. Obviously, it's, this is a little different than like Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy because that, that's like street stuff. This is just music. This is just so you can say their name. It's not like you're going to get a federal indictment if you, you know, you can you can say their names. And when you continue to kind of sneak this and hint at things and, you know, it allows you to get your name in the conversation, but not fully commit to the smoke. It allows you to kind of throw rocks and essentially hide your hands after you throw them. And people ask you, who was that about? Ah, well, you know, I'm not going to say it's about anyone in particular. It could have been about anybody or, oh, you know who it's about. Like, Go in. A lot of y'all be acting like y'all just so bold, y'all so big and bad, but it, big and bad. But it's like with Nikki, there's like a sense of fear almost. At least in my opinion, that's what it looks like from the outside in. Maybe nobody's scared of Nikki. Maybe they all think they can outwrap her. But that's not the sense I get. And so all these sneak disses, these little shots, like it's cool. But if you really had a problem with her, go in. And I say this as somebody who enjoys Nicki Minaj, but I also enjoy Lotto. She's one of my favorite young female rappers at the moment. I enjoy Meg Thee Stallion and people like that. So I'm not saying this just to be like, oh my God, I'm glazing Nicki Minaj. I like Nicki so much more than everyone else. But it's like, it feels like nobody really wants to beef with her. They want to beef with her to be like, oh, I'm beefing with Nicki Minaj. But they don't really want to take it there. Like at least if you look back at Remy Ma, Remy Ma was going to take it there and she did take it there. Now, Obviously, Nicki Minaj is way bigger and she has a much bigger fan base, but she still took it there and there was that respect for her. And some people even think she won the exchanges in terms of the microphone stuff. So if you look at in the past, there's been people who's had success when it comes to beefing with Nicki Minaj. I just don't like when people aren't ready to fully commit to it. I don't like when they want to halfway in, halfway out, throw a rock, hide their hand, point over there. I ah, know maybe I was talking about so and so. Ah, this could have been about anybody. Y'all love to put names in my mouth. No, you know what you were doing. So I don't really like that stuff. I want somebody, if they really have a problem with Nicki, to go all the way in. And you may be watching this video saying, you know what, you might have a point. Maybe they are scared of Nikki. Maybe they are just kind of clout chasing to a certain extent. Maybe they are doing this. Maybe they don't really want to beef with her. But why doesn't Nikki say their names back? Why does Nikki do this sneak dissing as well? Well, I'll tell you. 
I don't know why she does the sneak dissing, but I'll say, it's not her job to say anyone's name anymore. She's the big dog. She's number one. They the little homies. They the, they the people trying to get their stripes. Nikki's already, Nikki's already at the top. So she doesn't really have to say anyone's name. I would love it if she did, but it's not her job to. Why does she need to call out everybody below her? She doesn't need to do that. That just wouldn't make a lot of sense because not only is she calling out people that are beneath her in terms of like status and popularity, but she's giving them clout when she does that. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, it would be great if she had all the smoke for these girls and just went straight out. It'd be cool too. I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to that, but my point is she doesn't have to, so why should she? She doesn't need to. She's at the top. She's, she's number one. She's the ace. So if they got a problem with her, they need to bring it to her. She doesn't need to go at Lotto and say, all, like, no, she's the big dog. She's the big homie. These are all the little homies who's trying to get to the top. So that's my thing. She could say their names, but I feel like she doesn't have to in this situation. I feel like the girls that are lower and, you know, on their way up, still young in their career, who have these issues with Nikki and call her out on every single song, I think they should say her name. Say my name, say my name. I think they should say her name. Because if they really had a problem, they would. And also, I'll say this. There is so much to be potentially gained from beefing with Nicki Minaj and fully beefing with Nicki Minaj. Because Nicki has a lot of fans. Fans. The Barbs love her. There's millions of them. There's people who are casual Nicki fans. Nicki has a huge fan base. A lot of people love her. But for as many people who love Nicki Minaj, there's as many people who absolutely hate Nicki Minaj and would love to see somebody go at her and would love to see somebody take her top spot. It's, it's, it's right down the middle. Nicki's very polarizing. So there's a lot to be gained there. There's so many people who would take up Lotto's side if they knew she was really beefing with Nicki Minaj, if she was really going at her just because they don't like Nicki Minaj, not even because they love Lotto and they want to see, or they think Lotto is right in the situation and what she's arguing is like, they don't even care. They would just say, oh, somebody's going at Nicki. Finally, finally, I've been waiting 15 years for this. Like, there's so many people out there who would be instantly on your side. So there's so much to obviously gain from beefing with Nicki Minaj, besides just your name being in the same convo, besides the fans all on your side. Like, there's so much. Because hip-hop is a passing of the guard sport. There's an old generation, and sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of the time, most of the time, that young generation comes in and gives them the boot, kicks them off the throne, says, uh, <laughs> says, you're old, get the hell out of here, it's my time. The young lions come in and they throw Simba, they throw Mufasa, whoever is the king at the time, they throw him off that cliff, okay? They throw him into the pack of whatever, the boars or whatever was running down. I don't know, I don't remember from Lion King. Y'all know what I'm talking about, but you get what I'm saying. So there's, there, there would be so many people behind that person, whoever decided to take up that mantle of beefing with Nicki Minaj, and I get it. There's also the portion of losing the beef to Nicki Minaj, which would be a horrible thing, obviously. So it's not like you can just go into the beef and be like, oh, I'm just going to beat Nicki Minaj in this beef. I'm just going to win in the court uh, in the court of public opinion. Like, it's not that simple. I'm not saying that it is. So I get why people are going to be hesitant to do it. But again, if you're going to put yourself in the position to sneak diss her, I think you should go all in. Um, and again, there's a high possibility that you lose the beef, of course. Nicki has a whole bunch of fans. She can control the narrative. She can outwrap all of you like i would i think nikki would outwrap every everyone pretty much who could seriously beef with her at this point in time so there's that possibility that you get outwrapped you get clowned you get known as a clout chaser who tried to beef with Nicki minaj and you got pushed down that's very true but also at the same time you don't have to outwrap you don't have to outwrap Nick, Nicki minaj to win a beef you don't you you could i mean like well i don't i don't know if anyone could at this point in time but if you could that would be fantastic but you don't have to you could you could go for the petty stuff. You could call her old. You could do all that stuff. You could hit below the belt on Nicki Minaj with a lot of stuff. There's a lot of material that you could use to beef with Nicki Minaj if you're really beefing with her. I'm not going to get into that because that's not what this video is about. But my point is, stop the sneak dissing. Stop, stop the throwing rocks. Hide your hands. Either go in or don't because you're going to start to look like a clout chaser because I'll say this, right? Like I said, there's a whole bunch of people who hate Nicki Minaj and would love to see somebody beefing with her. But... Those people probably aren't paying attention to your career. And so in the end, you just look like a clout chaser because the only people who are really aware of the fact that you're dissing Nicki Minaj, at least that are going to be aware and really care when you're sneak dissing her, are going to be Barb's 
and your fans. And I guarantee you, your fans are not going to beat out the Barb's. I'm, even Cardi B's fans, they're they're gonna get they're gonna make it competitive. But even then, so when you're just kind of sending little subtle shots, and the entire rap game doesn't know the entire rap fan base, you're gonna be completely outnumbered because the Barb's are gonna be on your head. You're a clout chaser. You're this. You're that. And there's going to be a little support, but the people who would really get behind you have no clue that you're even trying to send shots at her. They don't know anything about it. So you're just kind of on an island fighting not only Nicki Minaj, one of the greatest rappers of all time, but fighting the barbs as well. And I'll also say the only woman in the rap game who I think can get away with the sneak dissing stuff of Nicki Minaj at the moment is Cardi B, because Cardi B is already at the top. Cardi B is not on the way up anymore. Cardi B doesn't need to bring the smoke directly to Nicki Minaj. She doesn't need that. She doesn't have to do that because Cardi B is a big dog as well. She does crazy numbers. She has a huge fan base. Her numbers are up there too. So she's a big dog as well. She doesn't need to bark up the tree that is Nicki Minaj. She doesn't have to anymore. So she can do the little sneak diss, whatever. They can sneak diss each other back and forth for the end of time and it doesn't really matter. But when you're on the rise, when you're one of the lower tier, not lower tier in terms of quality, but lower tier in terms of popularity, notoriety, and impact, when you're one of those girls and you're sneak dissing, going back and forth, Stop, because you're going to look like a cloud chaser. You're going to look like somebody who doesn't really want all that smoke, because if Nikki just comes out and says this, 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 and goes off on you, you're going to be like, whoa, who said I was talking about Nikki? You get what I'm saying? So look, say her name, say her name, or forever hold your peace, because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the sneak distance of Nicki Minaj. Not because I love Nicki Minaj, and I, but because I want y'all to really go after her, if you're going to go after her. If you're going to do it, do it with your chest. Don't do that. Oh, I'm talking about Nikki, but who knows? Like I didn't say her name, so technically. Go with your chest. Lee with your, with the crown of your helmet, bro. Cause I'm tired of it. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. That's gonna be the end of my video. I just think that there's so there, there's a really big opportunity there in terms of beefing with Nicki Minaj. Even if you don't just outright wash her in the beef, even if you go 50-50, maybe she slightly gets the better of you, you're still gonna gain so many new fans because there's so many people who hate Nicki Minaj and will back anyone that goes against her. Literally anyone. Like It's just such a big opportunity and I'm just sick and tired of it because people are trying to take advantage of that opportunity, advantage of all those people that don't like Nicki Minaj, take advantage of the fact that they can beef with Nicki without going all the way in and taking the risk of getting their head busted because that's a very possible risk. I don't mean like physically, I mean on the microphone. Because y'all don't really want to rap with Nicki. Let's keep it a beam. Let's keep it all the way a beam. A lot of y'all don't really want to rap with Nicki. Y'all want to sneak, y'all want to, but y'all don't want to go bar for bar with Nicki Minaj. So, until people start going bar for bar with Nicki Minaj, let it rest, bro. It's, really, it's clearly not that deep. Y'all don't need to be dissing her on every song because it's clearly not that important because y'all don't really want to go bar for bar with Nicki Minaj. Y'all don't really want her to put her pin against yours because you know, you and I both know the outcome of that, at least at the moment. At least that's how y'all acting. So, Stop with the petty Nikki stuff, bro. If you're going to go at Nikki, go at Nikki. And if she ends up going at you and you didn't say anything, that makes you look so much better. Imagine how you could flip the narrative. Oh, my God. What, why is this old lady harassing me? Why is this auntie harassing me? I ain't said nothing about her. She just mad because I'm the, the new girl on the block who's going crazy. Imagine how you could flip that narrative. So stop getting into the bickering back and forth. Go in or don't. Pick up a microphone or don't. Don't, don't do that halfway stuff. But that's the end of my video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe if you agree, if you disagree. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just tired of the sneak dissing of Nicki Minaj. It, it does really start to feel like cloud chasing at a certain point. But that's the end of my video. I hope you have a blessed day. Be safe. Peace.